Ooh. Kingdom come deliverance. Once again, we journey into Henry's creation of a deity. Ooh, new updates. Making leaderboards to the next level. Whoa, leaderboards have been updated to include top tiers and gifters. Also, we've updated the top tiers and gifters badges. Read more and nah. Close. I see your blue light. I gotta click it. It just, it just needs to happen. Also, this isn't Destiny. No, I just need to refresh the page. I did type you. Also, I can't even hit edit stream, uh, edit stream info. Hans, what am I doing here? God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Oh, we have to go walk down. All right. God no. be with you. We have to go meet Hanash. Hanush. Hanish. Hanus. Um. What's the uh, buttons again? <laughs> Time of the week, eh? Help yourself to the clothes from Lord Capone's trunk. Oh, brother, say no more. Well, I'll dress myself real quick. And I want to pull out his bow. H how do I do inventory? Down in the bed. Armor. Brother, these are dirty. What am I to be wearing here? Don't need you. Brown hose? Sure. The greatest shirt. Gotcha. I don't think I'm supposed to be wearing you. Also, let me put on my... Red, white, my potty hose. Am I good? So, should we go then? Let's go. And by the way, what on earth have you got on? Good God Almighty, you look even worse than before. Damn it. There's no time to change now. Let's go. This is what I got from your thing, brother. I mean, not the pants. The pants are better, in my opinion. Well, my ward and his, what shall we say, chaperone? Uncle, my lord. I hope we haven't dragged you away from anything too important. Not at all, Uncle. We were like just... Like boozing and whoring, for instance. Uh, Uncle, I can... Perhaps you were busy causing mayhem in the middle of the night and beating up my subjects. <sighs> No, it wasn't. Henry and I were just... Henry's as big a fool as you are. But he's not my ward, thank Christ. What the hell do the pair of you think you're doing? There are people in this fiefdom who work from dawn to dusk to put food on their tables and on yours, may I remind you. And then they look at you, Hans, their lord and master, and see a drunken layabout. That fellow you beat up last night was a guard, a new guard on the town watch. And he couldn't report for duty this morning because of his injuries. I had the bailiff could here complaining, me. and could I tell him what I really think about this whole sorry affair? Of course not. That would demean me. And you too. So I had to sit gaping like a stuffed owl and listen to his grievances. Maybe you think because you're the lord here you can get away with anything. 
but you're sadly mistaken, you blockhead. Whoa. A lord remains a lord only as long as he commands the loyalty of his subjects. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you the folk here are not exactly enchanted at the prospect of having you in charge. That was the last straw, Capon. One more of your escapades and I'll send you to your mother in Polna. For all I care, she can dress you up like a wench and marry you off to some Hungarian. Uncle, that arson bu Archibald tried to murder me. What was I to do? Oh, don't exaggerate. Well, I'm hardly surprised after you molested his girl and humiliated him. But I was only... Oh, oh don't so whine, for I'm heaven's sorry. sake. It's about time you started taking some responsibility. I have a job for you. Maybe that will keep you out of mischief. What am I doing? Lotta of Oleshna has turned up here. Do you know him? Isn't he Sir Bernard's cousin? He is. He came here with the remnants of his retinue to seek refuge. He's seriously wounded. What happened to him, sir? His fortress, Oleshna, was attacked by one Wolfren of Camburg. The Lotta pursued him almost as far as Neuhof. Oh, take me off the leash, dude. I'm ready. Unfortunately, the skirmish didn't end well for me, Lotta. Wolflin of Camber. Never mind. His name is familiar. Yeah, he's kin to the Oleshna lords, too. A cousin of Bernard's and Melotta's. And their family affairs are a little complicated. None of my business, of course. I just wish they'd found somewhere else to thrash out their differences. What do you want us to do, sir? Go and see Bernard in the courtyard. He got a report that Wolflin pillaged some other farms around Neuhof, and he's putting a squad together to ride against him. Mind your step, though. It's a family affair, after all. Maybe more to it than meets the eye. The important thing is to get that damn scavenger out of the domain. If possible, without bloodshed. I can't afford to lose any men over this business. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well. 100%. Get to work, then. Leave no witnesses. Gotcha. Now, get me out of this ridiculous garb. Back to my chonky self. I'm ready. Boom, boom. That's probably everything. I'm gonna just eat this. This. I'll keep the writing views because they're worth a lot. Sure, why not? Weighs two pounds. You can go. You weigh zero. How? Alright, then. What's it doing? Cleaning my armor. How ah, you do this? Anything to be repaired though? You do? I very light bow, not even mine. And then... Taylor? Okay. Watch it. You can't draw your weapon here. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Or did I mean to pull this out? How do you play this game again? X is jump, of course. No. I don't go, come on. That's where are we going? It should be like the red symbol, I believe. Um, Robert Baron. Go to Bernard to join the squad. The only uh, objective is optional. Okay. It's right here. Is it in the walls? There he is. Yeah, he's got gotcha. you. rather do battle with other nobles. Why? Skirt. Bandits are easier to defeat, aren't they? Bernard, how do you do? Sir Hannes sent me, Captain. I'm to join your mission. And Sir Hans, too. And mount up, youngster. And we'll move out. Uh, okay. Here we go. 
down, boys. Hurry, job it. Get there, I'd like you to hold back. You can forget about that, Bernard. I'm not going on an outing. Tanish sent me to handle this matter, and handle it I will. Yeah. I can't hear. I know what you meant, Captain. Forget it. Very well, Your Grace. Listen. See, I'm slightly faster than him. How about this robber? I heard some rumors. About his being a relative of mine? The Lotus? Something like that. We have the same great grandfather, Urban Baron of Aleshna. Wilson belongs to a distant branch of my family, which, well, well, let's just say they bring no honor to our name. But I heard Wolfen of Camberg was hanged somewhere in Silesia after plundering the bishop's estates. Where are you going? I heard the same. Only, well, I'm sure you've heard what they say about the Camberg branch of my family. That they're cursed. <laughs> now, Bernard, don't you think I'm a little old for fairy tales? Think what you like, but I heard it from my grandfather, and he never paid attention to old wives' tales. Apparently he did. Well, tell me all about it then. After all, there's no smoke without fire. And I never heard about the camper that's from a member of the family. Please, of well. course. I get it. You want to follow the track. I can do it myself. About our camper relatives. When Wolfen's father, Wilhelm, came to visit. I don't mind sitting in the back, but like, it's too far ahead. You can't hear him. Please. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Sorry, Henry doesn't know how to ride a horse, apparently. Where are we going? I couldn't blame him. Why is that? Well, Wilhelm's face was so badly disfigured, folk would cross themselves when they saw him. I was afraid of him myself as a boy. Born that way. See, his mother, Countess Barbara of Hogwitz, didn't want to marry Wilhelm's father, my grandfather's brother. She never wanted to bear his children. So, when she fell pregnant, they say she went to a witch to get rid of the child. Only she ended up having quintuplets. Can you imagine it? Five babes born in one night? Jesus Christ. I don't think none of us can here. That's not all. Four of them didn't live till dawn. Only the fifth survived. He was disfigured. <laughs> Wilhelm, they say the witch Wilhelm. cheated her, and instead of getting rid of the child, she put the devil's seed inside her. Good lord, how dreadful. The good old days. Well, Wilhelm carried that with him his whole life. When his own wife was in childbed, he had seven friars kneeling in her chamber day and night. It didn't stop the rumors, though. When his son, Wolfen, was born, he looked normal enough. But he turned out to be as wild as a stray tomcat. They seem he hasn't grown out of it. You're right about that. A few years ago, Wolfen went off to Poland, and Wilhelm got worse and worse. He cursed everything and Everyone in his past started throwing crockery at the servants. He was on his deathbed. They sent for a priest, not just to give him the last rites, but because they were afraid the devil would come out of him and possess someone else. Then... Whoa! Sweet Whoa down. Jesus. It sounds a lot more convincing coming from you than the stories my nurses used to tell me. How are we supposed to scout deal ahead? with the monster like Those that? bastards will pay for this. They most certainly will. What Let's go. are you talking about? Take two men and come back here later. Oh, the tree. Yes, Captain. Yeah. 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 My bad. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. None of them won't stay back. Didn't you just see for that one to stay back? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to just keep a steady pace, and you're good.
I'm losing the back for now, so this is no more dialogue. Yes, I believe. So I have no idea what we're doing after this. What are you doing, friend? It's a horse. Go straight. You don't need to drift or anything. You know what? Yeah. That easy. Take the path. Honestly, not the best horse here. Damn! Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! <laughs> oh, Bernard. Greetings! What do we do now? First, we have to find out where those horses are holed up. According to the reports, they raided a few farms around here. So someone should go to those places and find out what they can. You should do it, Henry. My men would probably just startle them. What are you trying to say? All right, Captain. I'll do that. Where are the farms? One is uphill from Neuhof, right by the woods. One here above the woods by the crossroads, directly north from our camp. Tell me, Captain. How come this Wolflin is attacking his own kin? They say blood's thicker than water, but sometimes I wonder. Look at our king and Sigismund. So what's the cause of your conflict with Wolflin? Nothing in particular. Just that he's a ruffian, a treacherous bastard, and a bandit. No wonder the whole Camber clan is cursed. How are you related? Nelodum, Wolfen, and I have the same great-grandfather, Urban, Baron of Oleshna. How do you mean cursed? Like I said, Wolfen's grandfather married Countess Barbara of Hogwitz. She didn't want to bear his child and went to a witch to get rid of it. Only instead of getting rid of the unborn child, she ended up having five. Well, all at the same I time. heard this whole song and dance already. And you believe that story? Depends how you look at it. Wilhelm wasn't a bad man while he was in his right mind, but he was terrifying to look at. I still get shivers down my spine when I think of him. As for Wolfen, word came that he died in Silesia. Then one day. Okay, let's just get going. Take care. One day I'm gonna battle you to the death, and I will win. So we have a camp over here. Let's go to this one first. Um. Let's go to B first. Are you lucky? Yeah. That's a better horse anyway. It's fine. All right, I am Henry. Hear me roar. Because it is Wednesday, so it is soggy night, kinda, mini sog. But it doesn't really matter. Let's just take Henry and his glorious deity horse. For this deity of a man. And approach day number five. Excuse me, excuse me. Not the entrance, gotcha. How do you do? I live here now. Hello, villager. I'm at your service tonight. Real respects real. Uh, the I've horse that bolted. Horse, a dappled grey. My old woman saw him, and she didn't catch him. The silly cow. We could have had a feast. Mm, the sausages we could have. The grey, you say? Uh, aye, uh, a dappled grey. Hmm. Do you eat we horse meat often? We eat whatever comes our way, Goodman. These days a man can't be too fussy. I see. Well, thanks. God be with you. Um, talk. I want to ask you about the... The robber baron. Captain Bernard sent me. I'm here about the raid on your farm. What? I've no idea what you're talking about, friend. They raided your farm, didn't they? No. Oh, I heard there was some raids hereabouts, but not here. Something's not right. The captain sent me here to this very farm. 
But the captain must have made a mistake. I suppose so. I'll be with you. Is he playing Lord Capon? Is he Wilhelm? Captain Bernard sent me. It's about that attack. Well, they came, took everything they could, and rode off again. I don't know what else I can tell you. We're trying to catch up with that gang, so I need to hear every detail you can tell me. Oh, that dude's playing us, so he's in on it. How many of them were there? Two or three. I'm not sure. My head's still in a spin. Which way did they go? I don't know. I wasn't watching. My husband made me hide indoors, and I only saw them through the window. You lying? So your husband was Punk. outside? Yes. He tried to parlay with them. What did they take? Not much. We haven't a pot to piss in, which I told them in no uncertain terms as soon as they came here. So you're telling me they came here, you told them there was nothing worth taking, and they just rode off again, without further ado? More or less. But just a while ago, you told me you were indoors the whole time. Ah, uh, yes, I was. Mostly. So, were you inside or I will end both of your lives. Did you talk to them or not? Well, like I say, it was confusing. I don't remember much. Get your story straight. Let's get one or two things straight. I'm here under orders from Captain Bernard, and that robber baron who came here crippled his cousin and killed two of his men. What's that got to do with me? Just so you know, the captain is very keen to see justice done. And it would not be wise to obstruct him. Me? A poor woman who was robbed? Obstruct the captain? Never! It's quite clear to me you're not telling me everything. Or even worse, you're covering for those bandits. I beg your pardon. I certainly am not. And now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Good luck then. Good luck then, sir. Are you pulling my pizzle? What? Why are you pulling what are you my pizzle? About? Your wife just told me the bandits were here. What the hell is going on? Uh, I don't know. Or maybe they were here while I was away. What are you on about? Are you trying to tell me bandits attacked your farm and your wife didn't think to mention it to you? She can be quite forgetful sometimes. She mentioned you talked to him. Enough! Dude. What happened here? All right, all right. They were here. But please understand, we don't want to get into trouble. Why would you get into trouble? My wife was at their camp, taking care of a wounded man. So they threatened you? They didn't have to. If someone finds them there, they'll soon put two and two together. So your wife knows where they camped? Unfortunately, yes. No, say no more. She does. We've got a good chance of catching them unawares. I'll be with you. All right, let's put an end to this charade. What? Charade. What are you talking about? Your husband told me you know where they're camped, so spit it out. What happened here, and how are you mixed up in it? They came a few days ago, took a pig and a sack of apples. We put up no resistance. I noticed one of them had an injured leg, so I offered to treat it for him. She was just doing her Very duty. Christian of you, considering they came to rob you. All I cared about was that they wouldn't kill us. Go on. What happened then? They rode off, and I prayed we'd seen the last of them. Only the same evening, they came back again. One of them had been wounded, and they wanted me to take a look at him. They gave me some coin and took me to their camp. And in the morning, I came home again. So you know where they're camped? I'd like you to leave me there. I won't go to their camp, no. But I know of a place where you'll have a good view of it. That'll do me. God that will do me. Oh, it's gonna take me there already. I was hungry, I wanted to eat their stew. This probably may have forced me.
You're all right, Harry. I'm not going Here any further. If they saw me, I'd be done for. The camp's not far away in this direction. Thanks. And don't worry. I'll deal with those bastards. I pray you do. Bye. I don't want to kill them without telling Bernard first, right? Looks like I found it. I better get back and report to Captain Bernard. Oh, yeah. Better get back and report to Captain Bernard. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. To see, shall we? Maybe there'll be some mud on the way. Hours, you guys just haven't moved at all. So loyal. Any food here, Nard? I've been here before. Capon, how you doing, my dude? The Lord be praised. Good luck, then. I hope there's to be a tawny. I found that encampment. Ah. I'm glad to hear it. Is it far? Not really. How many men did you see? Sorry, I, I don't know. Next time, make sure you do. Don't you know anything about scouting? Well, it's not like we have any choice but to attack. It's time that mad bastard came bad. from the Rate Ramparts. Wouldn't it be better to parley with them, sir? Parley with robbers? You must be out of your mind, lad. You fool. Hannes ordered me to avoid unnecessary casualties. What are you trying to say? I could go and parley with Wolfling. Even if it comes to nothing, I could have a good look at his encampment. Hmm. A bit of spying could well be of use, all right. Wolfling's a conceited bastard. If he knows you come from me, he'll receive you just for a chance to tell me to go to hell. I'll give you a livery with my coat of arms, so it's clear you're my messenger. And you'll have to go unarmed. Thank you, Captain. That's fine. I'll do my best. I'll use my so. fists. Try and come back in one piece. I'll be running for the hills. I want to explain to Sir Radzig why I sent his favorite into a robber baron's camp unarmed. See you later. Olschnitz? Wrong button? Can I just like unequip my gear instead of uh? Maybe they'll ask me when I get there. I just have to do it myself. Um, what is it? You, know, you, you can go to my horse. And that weighs zero, but I don't really care. It's colors, huh? Like, all this stuff I just do not care about. Yeah. Overall, Henry, I get a move on, shall we? Not a furry ride at all, it's like a 40 second ride. The Cursed Bridge. <clears throat> Just saying, on uh, pebbles there, we would have taken like half our hearts. Or half our HP. We don't have hearts. What am I talking about?
the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't want to just yeet the thing. <sighs> Whatever. I can skip dialogue, it's not that big of a deal. I guess. What do you want from me? Am I supposed to just like drop all my gear in a chest? And just come wearing that stupid vest? Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, 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 come on. Right, gear change, gear change. Put the bow back. Maybe they can just rest and then just run over there. Not that this. There we go. Um, I'll just do a save, I guess, before we get there. So how did Horsey? There you are. I wouldn't wait an hour. I'm gonna run over. I mean, if you skip all the dialogue, you can get this game button over, like, I guess ten. I snap. I thought about it too. I was like, maybe I should save here. But then again, saving this game's horrible. I thought it'd be okay, but I will save before we do it next time. He's already there, cool. Uh the Rick Under front of me, okay. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Go. Take this path on the left, I remember. Should be right through the woods, I believe? 